Hey there everyone, Phil Chu here, and in today's video, I will cover the new tailoring recipes that are available in the new 1.5 update of Stardew Valley. But before we begin, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. So let's get on with the video. Tailoring was added in the 1.4 update that lets us use the sewing machine at Emily's house. But in the 1.5 update, you can get your own sewing machine from the special orders bulletin board. I will leave a link in the description below so you know which request gives that reward. Firstly we have the magenta shirt. It looks pretty nice and the materials for it are quite accessible, which is the magma cap. You can find the magma cap in the volcano dungeon, randomly on any floor or on the special mushroom floors of the dungeon where the caps are mixed with lookalike enemies. This shirt is pretty good and it's nice to own it for whenever you feel like wearing it. Next are the ginger overall, which color scheme is inspired by the ginger ale with green and brown coloring. You can craft this item with ginger ale that you produce from ginger that you can find on Ginger Island. I just hope some of that luck of the ale will go into the overalls when you craft them, but I know that's a long shot. For all of those banana lovers out there, we have the banana shirt. To get this shirt in the sewing machine, you need to put the banana pudding. You can get this recipe from the island trader for 30 bone fragments, but you first need to unlock him with golden walnuts. After you get the recipe, you just need to craft it and put it in the sewing machine so you will be able to get this shirt. It's still a pretty nice shirt though. Next one we have is the yellow suit. This suit is crafted by using mango sticky rice as a tailoring recipe. The mango sticky rice recipe is sent by Leo in the mail after reaching 7 hearts with him. This is the only suit from the update and someone out there may like the look. But it's more difficult to get this as you first need 7 hearts with Leo, so you better start gifting. Another new tailoring recipe we have is the hot pink shirt. It's a silk shirt colored in tropical pink and to craft it you need to use poi as the material for it. The recipe for the poi dish is also sent by Leo to the player when you reach 3 hearts with him. So it's more easily obtainable than the yellow suit but you will still need to raise your friendship level with Leo. The shirt I like the most from the new 1.5 update is the Tropical Sunrise shirt. To craft this shirt, you will need Tropical Curry, which you can buy from Gus when he is at the island resort. This recipe is more easily obtainable than the other ones since you only need to catch Gus when he's working on the island. I really like the look of this and it suits the island atmosphere a lot. The last item from the clothing section we have is the island bikini. To get this item you need to use a golden coconut as the material, which you find randomly on Ginger Island or buy it from the island trader for 10 ordinary coconuts. You can dye the island bikini, so you can choose the best color for it that you want. This is the perfect item for a day on the beach on Ginger Island. After all of the clothing, we only have the hats remaining. The 1.5 update introduced 8 new hats in the game and I will show you all of the recipes for them as well as their look. The first one we have is not a hat but goggles, which look pretty good on the character. The radioactive goggles, despite the name, don't provide any protection against radiation and are crafted from a cloth and a radioactive bar. The look of this is really awesome and I think a lot of players out there will use this in the future. The next ones are just the ordinary goggles which are similar to the radioactive ones with the only difference that they are blue instead of green. To craft this you will need a bug steak and a cloth. The bug steak was added in the 1.5 update and you unlock it at combat level number 1. These goggles are quite easily accessible as the bug stick you can get quickly in the game. Another one we have is the swashbuckler's hat, which is similar to the pirate hat. 
To craft this hat, you need one dragon tooth, which is found in the volcano dungeon randomly or dropped from the lava lurkers inside there. This hat is a must for all of those pirates out there. And who knows, maybe the pirates in the pirate cove will think of you as one of their own with this hat. In the 1.5 update, there was a special mask that was added, which is the key mask. To get this mask, you first need to have unlocked the golden walnut door on Ginger Isle, which will give you access to the key special quests. You will need to be lucky and get the key crop quest, which tasks you to find key beans around Stardew Valley from monster drops, cutting grass, mining and more. You will then need to ship 500 of these to finish the quest. But if you use one of those key fruits with a cloth in the sewing machine, you will be able to get the key mask. This is a pretty neat way of obtaining this mask. Next one we have is the star helmet which also requires the golden walnut door on the island to be unlocked. Here, from Key's shop, you can buy a lot of special goods including the mushroom tree seed. If you use this item in combination with a cloth in the sewing machine, you will get the star helmet which looks pretty awesome. From the eyewear in the game, you can get some slick looking sunglasses crafted that were added in the 1.5 update. To craft these, you first need to find a cinder shard in the volcano dungeon, which is quite easy to get from the monsters there as drops or from the rocks that you find there. The sunglasses give a really awesome look and this will be a nice addition to the game. Next one we have is the forager's hat, which looks like a standard straw hat but still has a nice aesthetic. To craft this hat, you need to put a ginger in the sewing machine which you can find on Ginger Island while foraging. The gingers are all around the island and you can't miss them. As ginger is easily accessible, you can get this hat quite fast. The last one we have is the warrior helmet. For all of those vikings out there, this is the perfect headpiece. But to craft this, it will be a bit more difficult at start. To craft this helmet, you need an ostrich egg, which is quite rare to get from the volcano dungeon chests or from the journal scraps. In the description I put a link to my journal scrap video where you can see how to get an ostrich egg. After getting the ostrich incubator and having a steady income of eggs, you should try to craft this helmet which looks really awesome. But before getting the incubator I wouldn't suggest using your ostrich egg if you only have one, as you need it to get an ostrich. What is your best looking piece from the video? Feel free to let me know in the comment section. Well, that's it for the video. I hope I managed to help you in your search of the tailoring recipes and you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like on it if I managed to show you something new and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more content like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one. But till then, have a great time.